So it is about scramble for and partition of Africa. So we are going to discuss about scramble for and partition of Africa. And this is all about the rush which was made by the European powers to acquire colonies in Africa. So the rush made by European powers to acquire colonies in Africa is referred to as the scramble for Africa. So the word scramble simply means the desire for the European countries to have colonies in Africa. So the way in which the European nations shared out the territories in Africa, that is referred to us as partition of Africa. And I said that the African territories were subdivided haphazardly without the African interest. Therefore, in 1884, Otto von Bismarck, the Chancellor of German, organized the Berlin Conference. Mm -hmm. The Berlin Conference was organized by Otto von Bismarck in 1884, mm -hmm, where rules were laid down for the establishment of European colonies. So this conference was meant to prevent the European nations from going to war over colonies. It was to avoid conflict among the European nations. The Berlin Conference of 1884-1885. So between 1800 and 1850, there was what we call industrial revolution in Europe, where new and more efficient machines were invented. New and more efficient machines were invented. So the machines were able, you know, the machines were able to manufacture goods in large quantities, thus creating the need for raw material and also a larger market. So that's about scramble and partition for Africa. So you will realize that Europeans, they had goods, they had markets, not markets, they had these goods, but they did not have raw materials. So and that's why we are saying that between 1800 and 1850, there was an industrial revolution in Europe where new and more efficient machines mm, were invented. So the machines were able to manufacture goods in large quantities, thus creating the need for raw materials and even larger market. So let us again relook at the Berlin Conference of 1884-1885. And I said that the German Chancellor by the name Otto von Bismarck called for a conference. And this conference was called between the year of 1884-1885. So he intended to avoid a major conflict among the European nations over the acquisition of colonies in Africa. I said that the Berlin Conference of 1884-1885 was organized by the German Chancellor known as Otto von Bismarck in order to avoid conflict among the European nations over the acquisition of colonies in Africa. So this conference was attended by the European nations that were interested in acquiring Powers. colonies in Africa. The Portuguese must be were there, occupied the Belgium, by the people were there, belonging Italians to that colonial were there, power. The Britons and were that. there. The One French area were has there. Been declared as a they were interested and to acquire colonies was to be undertaken. So the aim of the conference was to lay down rules area and on how to acquire colonies occupation. and avoid so going to ponder war. That. So the during the conference, the reasons and the conference here is for the Berlin Conference for colonies. What happened? The reason for scrambling and partitioning of Africa. All sphere of influence categorized must be as follows. One, administered the European by their colonial economic powers. powers must be occupied by the people belonging to that colonial power. And that once an area has been declared as a sphere of influence an effective occupation was to be undertaken. What is a sphere of influence? An area under each nation occupation. So you have to ponder that. The question is all about reasons for scramble for colonies. 
The reasons for scrambling and partitioning of Africa, this one can be categorized as follows. One, the European scramble for economic factors or reasons. And these were the main reasons, social reasons, political reasons, and strategic reasons. We have two economic reasons why the Europeans scramble. One, the need for raw material for their industrial in Europe, and that was the major one, why the Europeans scramble and partition of Africa in order to acquire raw material for their industries in Europe. The need for a larger market for the industrial goods from Europe. Remember, I said that between 1800 and 1850, there was industrial, mm, there was what you call industrial development in Europe. So there was need for the Europeans to acquire raw material and also they were in need of larger market since they had their industrial goods. Political reasons. One, we have only two, as a show of power or prestige and national pride, you know, to be like the rest. When you talk about prestige, just to be like the rest. Mm -hmm. As in the European nations, they wanted to show their power and might be acquiring colonies in Africa. Emergence of new powers, that was that is classified under political. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, Germany. Germany had defeated France in 1871. In addition, newly created states like the Belgium and Germany wanted to prove themselves by acquiring new colonies just like other nations. So they colonized the African territories for prestige to be like the rest. We had talked about social reasons. Under social reasons, we have three. One, to spread Christianity and Western culture. And this was all about the missionaries. You know, missionaries invited their home government to Africa to secure the territories as they spread Western civilization. To stop slave trade in Africa, European nations wanted to end the inhuman and illegitimate slave trade and in, instead introduced legitimate trade. The word legitimate means acceptable. They also wanted to settle their surplus population and some European nations like, for example, Italy, wanted areas where their excess population could be settled. So the population explosion in Europe was caused by the discovery of penicillin and other medical discoveries. So there was need for the European to settle their excess population in Africa. Strategic reasons, take for example Britain, they needed to colonize Egypt to be able to control the Suez Canal. See that? Because Britain fully, uh, they wanted to fully control Egypt. As in, uh, there was need to take full control of the Nile, thus Uganda and even Sudan. Britain also needed influence in some parts. Yes, in some parts of Somalia, that the ships sailing to India and even to the Red Sea could get fresh mm, supply of water and food. Kenya as well was a very important colony for Britain because it provided access to Baganda from the Indian Ocean. Those are some of the reasons why the Europeans scramble for colonies in Africa. Then you have the partition. I said the France were there, Portuguese were there, Italians were there, Belgium were there, Britain, Germany, and Spain. So what is there is there for so I want you to do this very simple task. Mm. To write reasons for the scramble for colonies. Right now, from this point up to this point. Now, now.